it's Paul. Welcome to another short video about useful Google Chrome extensions. So in this video, I'm going to show you one called um, SimilarWeb. So I've gone to a website here called Backlinko. Uh, I click the SimilarWeb button in the toolbar up there. And as you can see, an overview pops up on the right hand side. If I click on more insights, it will take me to the website and I can see all this in a lot more detail. So when you're looking at your competition, this is good information because you can go to your competitor's website, see how many visitors they get, where they come from, all that good stuff. So that's a quick overview look down the page. So it gives you the global ranking there, um, which countries it's ranked in, traffic overview by countries. So it's obviously showing you the geography of where all the traffic is coming from. What sites link into your site, or in this case, Backlinko. Top destination sites. This means where do people usually go after they've been to this website? Where does most of the traffic come from? So he's doing really well because it's organic traffic that he's getting. Um, and that's exactly what he focuses on in his business. Social traffic. So you can see he's getting 2.55% of his overall traffic from social media. And then within social media, there's a breakdown of which platforms generate traffic. So of the 2.55%, 29.67% comes from Facebook. Display advertising, so he's not really doing any by the look of it, 0.02%. Now this is really handy, audience interests, because when you're doing things like Facebook ads and setting up your interests, it's good to have some of, the thing, some of these things to know about. So when you're looking at your competitors' websites, if you can find out what their audience interests are, they're probably very much the same kind of people that you want to target in your Facebook advertising. So that's very handy information there. Other visited sites. So it's showing you other sites that people are looking at when they've been, um, not either before or after, but if people are in, interested in Backlinko, they're probably going to be interested in these sites as well. And I can see why these are all kind of um, search engine optimization, SEO subject sites. Again, competitors and similar sites. So not surprisingly, um, people that have visited the websites are listed also under competitors for him. So people have been looking at his competitors' websites as well. So this is kind of, it's not quite the same thing because this is showing the sites that people have visited, whereas this is showing his competitors' websites. So they're kind of, say it's the same kind of information, but not quite. Any mobile apps? No. And there's a section just telling you what more details you can get if you subscribe to the paid version of um, SimilarWeb. Might pay some money. Anyway, that was a very quick overview. Just wanted to give you a quick quick um, spin through the different information that's on there. Hopefully, you can make use of that for your own website, your own SEO, and your own Facebook advertising. Um, hope that was useful. Thanks for watching.